Hey guys, welcome to another video. And this is another ranked video, and, and this ranked is going to be uh, from all the Hobbit and all of the Lord of the Rings. There's six films, and I'm going to rank them all. So yeah, so I'm going to I'm going to rank them from worst to best. So let's do this. So coming in number six spot is uh, the Hobbit and the Expected Journey. I um. I didn't really like it much, but it was really good. <laughs> I know that doesn't make sense, but there's some bits on Expected Journey that I didn't like, like Gandalf going to this other side quest. I mean, Gandalf, like, he wasn't very really a part of the movie much. I didn't think he was really in there as much as Lord of the Rings, so. Yeah, that's why I didn't really like it. And it's just the scenes, it just. CGI, there's too much CGI and it's the, like, it doesn't look real, you know, it doesn't look real and it's not that action packed, and I think the goblin scene, it doesn't look real that bit, because I don't really think the goblins are there, because it doesn't look like it, but all the characters as well, the characters, like, are not very really appealing, the only appealing ones are probably, um, uh, Bilbo and Thorin, well, kind of Thorin, but Bilbo mostly. And that's really it. The other dwarves I don't, don't really pay attention to. I mean, the next favourite dwarves are very Keely and Feely, but yeah. So that, 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 that covers an expected journey in number 6 spot. Coming in number uh, 5 spot is the battle, the Hobbit, the battle of the five armies. Now this film is normally ranked the worst, but they say it's the really good ending. No, it's not a good ending at all, like... There's too much battle, too much battle. I don't, I don't like it, cause it's like, I a little bit of battle is fine, like half the battle is okay, but it gets boring as it gets along. I mean, they should have just had a few minutes of the dwarves and elves, with the, them and a few minutes of Dale and the orcs charging into Dale, and only a few minutes with Azog versus um, Thorin. I mean. Uh, I didn't really like the Battle of the Five Armies because it was just so boring. And half the movie was just battle. That means about one hour and 20 minutes is battle. What? Uh, well, Smaug as well. Like, they all have this build-up in Desolation of Smaug. So the um, Smaug actually destroying the town. I hate that cliffhanger as well. <laughs> um, but just the first ten minutes, boom, he's dead. It's just, I didn't really I didn't like that bit either. The only bit I like is, like, when the elves come into Dale. Mm, that's it. And Bilbo in this movie didn't really p p like play as the main character. He's just a, a guest, almost. Thorin and stuff played as the main character. I don't know why Bilbo's supposed to be the main character. Uh, like, on the cover, he, he looks like he's the main character. No, he's not. He's, he's just a guest in that film. I didn't really like the film. I mean... This should have been Blue on Expected Journey, but I just think it's a bit better than Expected Journey. Like, the CGI is good. It's actually really good in this movie. I, I really like, um, Smaug and his death on the Dale. That was pretty good. That's the only scene I like, but apart from that, I really didn't like the Battle of the Five Armies. Coming in number four spot is The Hobbit, The Desolation of Smaug. Now, The Hobbit of Desolation of Smaug um, was the best Hobbit movie. It was really good. And this is the best, um, um, like, sort of realistic movie. Like, Smaug looked really realistic. All the gold was really cool when he went to that gold room. I love the barrel scene when the elves, like, uh, try and um, get the barrels. The, 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 the tours go into the barrels and they go down the river. And the elves try to stop them and the orcs, but they get the elves get distracted with the orcs, and then the orcs just stop going after them. Um, so Bilbo, I like Bilbo in this one because he he's really the main character. I love the bit where they try and have the key, and they try and put the put it in the keyhole, but the last light of Durin's day, that's the moon's light. Love that bit. That's really spot on. But yeah. 
uh, that's that's really it because the rest of it bad because I didn't like where the bit where you know it's just too much. It's this thing in Destiny is Smaug that just isn't as good as Lord of the Rings, you know. The Hobbit definitely doesn't beat Lord of the Rings. It's just the Lord of the Rings are much better. So yeah, that covers the number. What was it? Number four spot. So yeah. In number three spot, we have Lord of the Rings: The Fellowship of the Ring. Now, the Lord of the Rings: The Fellowship of the Ring is really good. It's like unexpected journey, kind of, isn't it? Like they go on a journey, try and get the ring to Mordor, but they kind of get going some things. Like I will talk, so I'll talk to you about it right now. So in the first scene, like they try and the was it Numenorians? It's Numenorians, isn't it? No, so there's there's um. The men that had the rings, ring race. That's it. Ring race, ring way, r ring, ring race. Um, chase was chasing Frodo, and they will never give up on trying to get the ring. And that was that was probably the worst bit of the movie. Didn't really like the bit, but when it gets on, it's really good. Like when they go to Rivendell, and then uh, Elrond tells them about the ring and stuff, and then Gandalf says. Elves, the time of the elves are over. Dwarves, dwarves are stubborn. They steal. And then he says, "How about men?" And then an Elrond says, "Men are weak." And that's the and he and he didn't trust men because they 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 actually didn't put the ring in the in the fiery dooms on Mount Doom because uh, Ilslador, uh didn't drop the ring down. He says, "Destroy it." No. And then he just. Went out, and I, I, I just wish everyone just pushed him in the lava. To be honest, that would be the best choice. But obviously, he wouldn't do that because Arnold would beat him up. So, yes, not Gondor, Arnold. Uh, yeah, Arnold. Yeah, I'm not gonna say about Arnold now. But Fellowship of the Rings really good. Like the Mines Moria, but it's it's really really good. That's spot on the Mines Moria. Um. He, I love the two bit two sayings that Boromir says. So he says, "They have a cave troll," and they says, and he, and he says, "It's not mine. It's a tomb." I love the, I love Boromir in that movie, even though he's very like I want the ring, but yeah, Boromir's a really good character in this movie. He's really good, much better than the others. But <laughs> no, <laughs> why did I just say that? Okay. My best characters in the movie is probably Aragorn and Gandalf because they're really good characters in that movie because they are really, like, they are the main characters. Oh, yeah, and Frodo in the main character, too. Frodo's the main, 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 main character. The reason I like Fellowship of the Ring because there's not two different stories going on like the other two films. There's actually just a full, just, full adventure, just one scene. When it's unexpected journey, Gandalf goes on his own venture. This is the only movie that just no side quests. Well, not really side quests, like you know, two different stories going on. So there's this ice bit where the ice um goes on um <coughs> snow. Sorry, goes on Gandalf and stuff. That's really cool. And I love when Gandalf um goes to Isengard and then Saruman, Saruman. And yet, yeah, Under Fellowship of the Ring is really good movie, <coughs> spot on. But it's just not as good as the other two. It's not that emotional. It's just normal fantasy movie. So that makes the number three spot. In the number two spot, we have Lord of the Rings: The Two Towers. Lord of the Rings: The Two Towers is. One of the best Lord of the Rings films. It has lots of stuff in it. It has, like, Saruman is on the top of the tower and the big battle for Helm's Deep starts. So, Battle for Helm's Deep is my favourite battle of all Lord of the Rings because it's just so good. And, the, and like, Isengard goes to Helm's Deep and, and the only weakness, they destroy it. So, I love that bit. 
and then the Saruman dies. I love that bit. Saruman dies in the extended version. So yeah. I haven't actually read the books yet. I need to read the books, but they're just so difficult. People tell me they're difficult, really difficult, so I might read them soon, but they're just huge books. Um, but yeah. Two Towers, really, 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 really good. So, yeah. Ta oh, no, 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 that doesn't wrap it up yet, because Frodo and Sam go on their own adventure. Oh, yeah, Gollum, Gollum. Gollum is my favourite character in the whole the Lord of the Rings trilogy. Um, all, all, all the saga, basically. It's, he's just so good. He's just so fascinating. He Sometimes you feel bad for him. Sometimes you actually want to kill him. Because he's so mean to Frodo and Sam sometimes. But sometimes he, he's actually quite good. He's like, I love the bit when... He says, ah, oh, fish, potatoes, and yeah, that was really cool. So yeah, in 2000s, really good? Yeah, he stole it from us. Gollum, Gollum, Baggins is. So yeah, that's, that wraps it up for the two towers. So, coming in the number one spot is Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King. The reason I put this in the number one spot is because it's the best film I have ever seen. Um, it's actually better than Star Wars. This, this, this Return of the King, just one of them, better than Star Wars. But Star Wars is really good. But we're not talking about Star Wars right now, we're talking about Lord of the Rings Return of the King. This film, best film I've ever seen in my life, because it is just... Full of action, and it's just like I lose. There's just so many scenes that you just like it's just so good. But the only bad, the only bad thing I think there is in Return of the King is there is it's just so long. It's three hours and twenty minutes. You even have the extended version, which is four hours long. Oh my gosh! I just can't believe. It's just so long. <clears throat> but I love the spider scene. That's a really good scene. Really creepy as well. He, he just gets trapped in that web. And then Gollum goes through the cave and goes, Ah! No! Spider! And then uh, Frodo realises he's not going to help. So he just rushes through the web. And I love when Sam comes back of those stairs. And I love the ancient town, the ghost town, where the orcs march out and go to Osgiliath. No, it's not Scully, um, Gondor, uh, Gondor's Ministerial, so, the Battle of Scully is really good, love that last thing, and it, this film is one of the most emotional films I have ever, like, seen, I almost cried when Faramir, when I watched it for the first time, when Faramir goes out with the horses, and he goes towards Scully, when his fa stupid father sends him there, but, um, yeah, I almost cried a that bit because it's just so emotional, like, a Pippin singing a song, and the had the hours fly, and then just, yeah, Psst. good that Faramir actually didn't die, um, because he didn't actually die. Um, if you see, um, closely when, on the right-hand side, when, at the end of Return of the King, where, um, Aragorn gets the crown, you see Faramir and uh, Eowyn, is it Eowyn? I don't know, uh, together, um, to the right side, so yeah, just Return of the King, so good, and the best bit of Return of the King is when, um, Sam gives out, uh, two speeches in this, no, one speech, in Two Towers, he gave out one speech as well. Was it in... I don't remember, but... He gave out um, one speech, and this one, he was like... I can't carry it for you, but I can carry you! So that wraps it up. That takes another one spot. Yeah, guys, bye!